Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining us. Last week, we looked at a crawl space to basement dig out that we're just finishing up with in South Denver. And we did a review on the Ulanzi mic set, which I am wearing right now. On the other side, you can plug it in. It has a USB port. In this video, we're going to take a look at another basement dig out that we're doing in South Denver, about a mile or two away from the other job that we just finished up with. And we're going to take a look at some camera lenses. But wait, that's not all. If you can guess the bid price of this patio, this $50 is yours to keep. All you have to do is guess the bid price, drop it in the comments below, and this contest will only be running throughout this week, so drop your guess now. University of Colorado will have to replace that because they have to be in compliance with certain codes and standards. So these trip hazards have to go, this entire section of concrete has to be replaced. All right, Gold is showing up now. So let's see if we can pass one of these microphones to him. Yo, hey. can I give you one of these to hang on to while you're here? What is it? A microphone. How does this work? <laughs> the, um, this is the wrong fucking house. <laughs> Jesus. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is not, we weren't gonna put a swimming pool here. Carlos. That's not all. Well, you're supposed to save the tree. I wanted this tree set. Oh, Carlos. Yeah. Oh. Hey, you know what? We actually have a couple new jobs going on right now. We're doing a big dig out over in South Denver and we were there just the end of last week talking to carlos and fernando about what they were doing they were digging out the area so that they could extend that house right there apparently they're going to knock down one whole side of that house and they're going to bring it out gold showed up while we were there which was a good thing to give some direction on the job to carlos about you know where they need to dig and whatnot let's come down take the machine and come down probably another two foot See. See. Okay. Yeah. So come from here, five feet, or six feet, all the way. Okay. We start to get soft right here, and then just cut your two foot down. And then on Monday we might take the rest out. But over the weekend, I want to keep. Yeah. But yeah, you need to go down. I took a picture, let me see. I believe we, we said 11 foot, right? But I want to just make sure. Mm -hmm. Fernando was pulling out a window well while we were there. So we got to get in on that action, do a little bit of filming. I always love getting there on the job when there's stuff going on and it's not too sunny. Sometimes when it's high noon and I show up on the job site, it's really hard getting a good picture with the camera out on, out on the job site because it's like too much light just blows out the picture and it doesn't look good. You know, even when you put a lens filter on there, it's like putting on sunglasses, which helps, but you know, it's just not as good quality of a picture as early in the morning or late in the afternoon where you get that nice cinematic shot. If you do any kind of filming or photography, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, if not, well, now you know. If you want to take a really beautiful picture, get up against the sunset or the sunrise, and that is where you're going to get you, the best quality picture you can get. But that's not really why we're here. The reason we're here is to talk about what's going on out on the job sites. Dude, let's do a cinematic shot, bro. <laughs> ready? That's what I'm going for. Yeah, yeah we're ready. We're rolling. We're ready? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to double check, like I said, when I'm back in front of the architecturals. Eight, eight inches. So, because you got 13 and a half down from there. That's top of wall. What's this? A dinosaur. Holy shit. <laughs> that was a big, big man. Look at that. Aye, aye, aye. That guy was 
fucking grande, huge. Should hang these from my, hang these nuts from my mirror. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, that's not all. We swung by another job where Luis and his crew are putting in some window wells as well. All right, we're out here in Superior, Colorado now, and we're gonna get a few, a few shots while we're here because the guys are putting in some window wells. And we'll start with this long shot looking at the house. You see that house right there on the corner is the one that we are digging window wells on right now. Let's do a quick walk through. The debris that you see right here is what came off of the patio that was torn away from the house so that we could get down to these windows and dig out these window wells. That's what Abraham is over there doing right now. He is gonna put that window well and drop it right down in there where he's digging that window well out right now. These guys over here are putting a different kind of window well. It's gonna be much larger, as you can see. And these bricks right here will be going in that window well. You've seen the way we did these window wells over on the basement job that we just wrapped up? They looked excellent. That's why they hire Gold's Concrete to put in these window wells, because when this is all said and done, these bricks are gonna be laid nicely down in there and everything is gonna look Hey, okay, man. But wait, that's not all. If you can guess the bid price of this patio, this $50 is yours to keep. All you have to do is guess the bid price, drop it in the comments below, and this contest will only be running throughout this week. Colorado University is the owner of this property, and we've come here today to look at this patio because we've done patchwork here before, and the patio is still having problems. The patchwork was done good, but the problems that they're having with this patio is that the water is not draining the way it should be. It's crumbling and cracking in areas that's causing it to just erode and fall apart. All right, we're at the top of the steps now, and we're gonna close in on a few of these spots where you can see the concrete has really broken apart. And we're gonna walk over here and close in on this before we back out and get a wide angle shot of all of this, because I wanna explain this patchwork that you see right here. This is what we did previously to repair some of the areas where the water is, is not flowing or it was settling like it is right here still and not going into the drain, which is actually right over here. And you'll see another piece of patchwork that we did right here. And they're still having problems with these drains. So the water now is just setting out here and it's causing further erosion and further damage to the concrete. You can see this patchwork we've done right here, down here, uh, along there, over there. So we tried to repair this issue once before, but as you can see, they're still having problems with the water not flowing, not draining out of here the way it's supposed to be. The concrete is crumbling, and there's just, this whole, whole thing needs to be torn out, and that's what's about to happen. We may be coming from this point right here, coming in to pour in the new concrete or bringing the pump in through this area right here. We may, however, come in through the other side because once we go up over that patio, there's another stairwell that goes down into a parking lot on the other side of this building. So let's go ahead and take a walk up here and look at the patchwork that we've done and also the areas that are causing some concern. We've been filming with the 18 to 55 millimeter lens out here on the job site this morning. Let's go ahead and get a good picture of that. This is our 18 to 55 millimeter lens. We were using the 10 to 18 millimeter lens and we sent that back because that's just way too wide of an angle. We don't need to go that far out. It starts looking kind of fishbowly when you go that far out and we don't need to be that far out on the job site. The most practical thing that I have found, and I've been through five or six different lenses already. What are you looking for? This? Is this what you're looking for? Oh, 
Oh, good boy, bud. Good job. All right. We just dropped in on the job in South Denver where the guys are digging out a basement. And on the way back to the office, we saw this stuff going on right here. This demolition job going on in downtown Denver. And we had to stop right here to get a good picture of this. Right now we're filming, we're still filming with our 24 millimeter lens. We have our other lenses out here. This is our 55 to 250 millimeter lens. This is our 18 to, or this is our 10 to 18 millimeter lens. And this is our 50 millimeter lens. If I touch the screen right here, it'll focus on this beautiful Canon 50 millimeter lens. Try this shot. This is our 24 millimeter lens. We have the camera on the tripod right now, so we'll just go ahead and leave it right where it's at and we'll change out the lens. That's it, just change out the lens. Now moving to the 50 millimeter. Let's try that. Now we are filming with the 50 millimeter lens and the only thing that has changed is the lens and the tilt of the camera. All right, and this is with the 10 to 18 millimeter at 18 millimeters. And I'm holding Buddy right now because we just saw another dog. And if I wasn't hanging on to him, he would run off with the other dog, chasing after the other dog. All right, now here we are with the, the uh, let's see, 55 to 250 millimeter zoomed all the way out. And this is our picture. All right, now here we are zoomed all the way in at 250 millimeters. I'm gonna have to back way out. We have changed the angle of the camera so that I have enough room here. <laughs> Just a basic thing for filming out on the job site when you wanna get be able to zoom in and out not ridiculously zoomed in, but just enough to capture that effect of zooming in and out, being right there, you know, being able to close in on something really quickly and not having to change your lens or not having to change your position. This is a great practical lens for job site filming. If that's the sort of filming you do, this is all you need right here. That's not all. If you can guess the bid price of this patio, this $50 is yours to keep. Let's go ahead and close in on some of these, on some of the detail because here's where you can get a good picture of the damage to this concrete that's causing a lot of erosion. It's causing it to break away. Here you see we have a really thick crack and in areas just right above that. So right here it's cracking apart and all along this this step here not just that step but i mean if you look through here you can see where the concrete is just crumbling everywhere university of colorado will have to replace that because they have to be in compliance with certain codes and standards so these trip hazards have to go this entire section of concrete has to be replaced and gold's concrete will be here to do that once this patio is demolished so that's all we're waiting for right now. These steps and this patio, this all of this is coming out of here. Once it comes out, Gold's Concrete will come in and replace the whole area. So I'm glad we stopped by here today before anything's been done. So we got a nice clear picture of what it looked like before. And we're gonna follow the job as it goes on. It'll probably take a couple of weeks and we'll get some filming in there as well to see how the guys are laying in the concrete what the plans call for, you know, whether it's rebar or wire mesh reinforcement and how thick does the concrete need to be, 
Will road base go in beneath it? Uh, there's a lot of details that are covered in the plans that we don't always know until we get those plans and we're actually on site looking at the job and we know how the concrete needs to go in. There are some things that are pretty standard for all pours, but each pour varies a little bit in the requirements of the design plans. So that's what we have to follow when, once we get out here on the job site. You know, if those plans call for rebar, a certain size of rebar to go in the concrete and we don't put that rebar in there, we're not gonna get passed off for inspection. So we have to match or we have to meet every one of those inspection points along the way, you know, before the concrete is installed and while the concrete is being installed. All right, we just came up the stairs over there and we walk through here looking at the patchwork and the concrete. All this around here is concrete. And this is all the concrete that'll be coming out. Right back here, we have the tripod where we're gonna put the camera and we're gonna take another walk around here so you can see what it actually looks like and how big this area actually is. Because way over there in that far corner is where the concrete extends to. From here, where we're standing right now, all the way back to that other end. That's the patio area. These are the stairs that we just walked up. And then that right there goes through to the other end of the patio, going down the other stairs. And all this in between here and there is the patio that's gonna be torn out. If you can guess the bid price of this patio, this $50 is yours to keep. All you have to do is guess the bid price, drop it in the comments below, and this contest will only be running throughout this week, so drop your guess now. All right, that's it for today's video. Drop us a comment and don't forget to support your local small business by subscribing to this channel. And we'll see you again next time.